What a magnamazing day the Lord has made. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Today is Friday, 1-5-2024. And as I was doing my evening and morning devotion, what came to me was correction at its best. Matthew 18, 15 through 17 says, if enough believer sins against you, go privately and point out the offense. If the other person listens and confesses it, you have won that person back. But if you are unsuccessful, take one or two others with you and go back again so that everything you say may be confirmed by two or three witnesses. If the person still refuses to listen, take your case to the church. Then if he or she won't accept the church's decision, treat that person as a pagan or a tax, as a corrupt tax collector. I leave you with this. Have you ever noticed when we do something wrong, it starts between us, as in you and I, and that person who you wronged, and Jesus. When we are not caught, we get bolder in our actions and continue. See, Jesus sends correction in the form of someone saying something about our actions, and usually it's denial, deflection, or it's anger, but in rare cases, it's a confession and a change of heart. So since we ignored the first correction, we felt we got away with it. Now our actions have become even bolder, which results us getting noticed and into trouble, maybe a criminal charge or a reprimand, or maybe it was something that Jesus did to your health to say, hey, I notice what you're doing. You need to stop. Now we have a few witnesses and Jesus saying, let me up the heat on the correction, tightening the rope on grace and mercy, correction at its best. Even with all of that, it was not enough to stop us from our wrongful actions. And we continue to deny any wrongdoings and a complete refusal to acknowledge, yes, I messed up, which causes you to stop your wrongful actions because now you have repent. But instead, you have become a public spectacle because everyone knows about the actions that have been taken. And now it has become public, even outside the church. So let me bring it closer to home. So as the treasurer of the church, you find out the pastor has been stealing money and has been stealing money for several months. It is between you, the pastor and Jesus. And it was revealed to you because one day you were looking at the books and you got a feeling to go back and check it after you had already closed it. You go to the pastor and you say, I found out what has been going on. You stealing money and the pastor denies it. Or says, let's look at the books next week in a very nonchalant way. So you go and you tell Mrs. Ann, who's been the church secretary for 15 years. So Miss Ann says, I know the pastor and he is no thief. You have to be off somewhere with your calculations of the books. And now Miss Ann and the pastor have gone and told other church members that you as the treasurer can't count. And you have accused the pastor of stealing money and they have taken the pastor side. And maybe we find need to find a new treasurer who can count because our current treasurer, uh, they, they can't count. They're kind of slow. So you let it go, not wanting to cause any trouble in the church. Correction at its best. But Jesus said, if the pastor still refuses to listen after having a few witnesses, Take your case of stolen money to the church. Then, if the pastor won't accept the church's decision, treat the pastor as a pagan or a corrupt tax collector, which can be found in Matthew 9, 10 through 13. However, Matthew 9, 12 through 13 says, Jesus heard this, and he said, healthy people don't need a doctor. Sick people do. Then he added, 
Now go and learn the meaning of scripture. I want you to show mercy, not offer sacrifices. For I have come to call not those who think they are righteous, but those who know they are sinners. See, remember, Jesus wants us to always resolve disputes at the lowest level. And, the, and that only happens when we acknowledge our wrongdoings. We remain prideful and the audience gets bigger and bigger and the consequences get harsher. This is why members become church hurt or they just leave and you hear about hatred or resentment, revenge, and the list goes on and on. Come to Jesus today. Be humble in your correction because it is a part of God's love but pride is as of the devil we are here to follow Jesus love him obey his command find others who want to wear God's mighty uniform and not run away from it we all have to accept correction and grow in and with God correction at its best Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a magnum amazing day. Be legendary. And our purpose is your blessing.